going on, folks? So I was looking online and saw that TJ Holmes and Amy Robox, her uh, exes, Andrew uh, Shu and Mary Lee uh, Feibig, uh make red carpet debut last couple. TJ Holmes and Amy Robox, exes, Andrew uh, Shu and Mary Lee Feibig made their red carpet debut as a couple on Tuesday. This comes a little bit over two years since the cheating scandal between the ex-spouses and former GMA3 co-hosts Holmes 47 and Robot 47 made headlines. Uh, the couple walked the red carpet together at the 2024 Grassroots Soccer World AIDS Day Gala at a uh, place in New York City and appear to be on a double date as they po uh, posed on the red carpet for a group photo with Tommy and Susanna Clark. A couple of days later, Holmes and Robot went on their podcast. 365 days later, they spoke about the ugliness they experienced when they learned their exes were romantically involved. In the wake of learning their respective partners were having an affair, Shu and Five Big announced in December 23, that they bonded over a traumatic experience of their very public messy breakup and ended up getting together. At the time, sources claimed that Holmes and Robot were furious when news of their ex's relationships broke on the same day as their podcast launch. Um, them taking their relationship to the next level and made their red carpet debut earlier this week. They coordinated their Outfits at the event. Uh, Fivek is a successful immigration lawyer, put on elegant display in a black satin midi dress. Uh, she paired it with patent leather sandal heels. Uh, his look, he had a dark blazer, uh, light gray, checkered pattern, whatever going on. Uh, the male roles plays actor completed his look with brown leather boots. So, I mean, I find it interesting that T.J. Holmes and Amy Wobach have an issue with their exes debuting their relationship on um, on the day of T.J. Holmes and Amy, uh, you know, podcast. I mean, y'all had a affair. They don't owe you guys anything. So, it's just amazing how they had an affair and they're together and had kids and ain't thinking of nothing about it and moving on. Um, of course, these two would have bonded off the fact of both of their partners publicly having an affair on both of them. So, nobody else could relate to it than the two of them. So I don't think nothing's wrong with it. Um, I just think that's a good payback. Now you guys know how I feel. And to see them happy and enjoying each other and doing things the right way instead of you guys having an affair in front of everybody and nobody really checking for y'all anymore. Nobody cares what you got going on. Who's tuning in to the podcast? So there you have it.